Today I turn 27. Not particularly a significant milestone to the general populace, but my belief is that each and every year should be celebrated and reflected upon. Because now you have more experiences, more lessons, more failures, more success, you've upskilled hopefully, and you're overall just more wise. So I thought that I'll share the lessons that I've learned over the years that I believe will also resonate with you. The true value of time is the first thing that comes to my mind. As we grow older, we begin to realize the importance of time is no longer just a concept. It becomes more evident that it really is the most valuable thing that we have. Once it's gone, we can't get it back. We begin to learn and prioritize how to become more time effective. For example, as we age, it's inevitable that we take on more of life's responsibilities. If you have a family, especially if you have kids, there goes a lot of your time. So a good example is in my past year and a half, I took on board YouTube. It's one of my long-term goals that I wish to become successful at. However, this time had to come out of somewhere. It had to come out of my schedule. I had to add it onto my current schedule of my business, of my clients. So learning how to manage your time effectively is, like I said, a lesson that I've personally learned over time. It's a lesson that you'll personally begin to learn as you age more and more. The idea and cliche of living in the present could not be more true. It's easy to get caught up in planning for the future or potentially even dwelling in the past, but life happens now. What are you gonna do now that is gonna progress you towards your future and towards what you ultimately want to accomplish in the future. So what is my point here? Where am I going with this? As we age and as we progress in life, we start to take on a more stoic approach. We become stoicists in a sense where we begin to understand more and more the things that don't matter, the things that we can't change, we don't have control over. And instead, we prioritize and focus our time on the things that we can control that is going to progress us Forward. Another hard truth to grasp and that we begin to realize the more we age is that people come and go. It really is as simple as that. Over the years, you'll realize that not all relationships are meant to last. People change, move on, we simply grow apart, we begin to understand and intellectualize that most people are stuck in the past. Most people don't have the same drive that you might have most people don't have the same passions. Most people aren't on the same wavelength as you are. This is something that I've grown to realize. Instead, what you should be doing is just cherishing the moments, understand why each and every single relationship had its purpose, understanding when to let go of a relationship is absolutely necessary. In your life, really analyze. Are they a benefit? Are they a consequence? Will they progress you? Will they pull you down? It's like, the analogy of the crab in a bucket. Everyone wants to pull you down, no one wants you to succeed. It's really a concept that is very true. You shouldn't be afraid to let go of those people, of those relationships that don't fall into your checklist. In my opinion, that is a massive lesson, especially when you start to realize that quality is significantly better than quantity. It is better to have a close-knit type group of people and friends and family, having, in my opinion, no more than five of those top, top, top T friends that work together in order to excel each other forward than having a hundred superficial ones. You also realize, by the way, that it's significantly better for you since time is the most valuable resource to be investing your time, your energy into those people who truly matter those people who are going to bring happiness and fulfillment in your life, those tight-knit group of people, instead of spreading all your time and attention across 100 people. Another massive thing that I've come to realize, especially as I've aged, of utmost importance, prioritizing these relationships, the relationships you have with your tight-knit group of people, your friends and your family is of utmost importance. Cherishing these moments, the memories that you create, supersedes absolutely everything else. Any external influences, any external possessions, money, it all doesn't matter. What matters truly and utterly, what you begin to really realize is that these relationships are what ultimately matters. When you're 60, they're going to be around. When you're on your deathbed, as morbid as it sounds, 
those are gonna be the people who stick by you, who actually turn up to your funeral and shed a tear for you. This reminds me of the Godfather scene, where at the end of all his death, all his possessions, all the money he garnered after killing his a lot of members of his own family, the final scene is a pan out shot of him living on this massive property, owning this massive mansion, passing out by himself outside with not a soul around him, not a single person was there when he'd passed away. That is, that is crazy. So you can see that if in life you prioritize possessions, you prioritize money, you prioritize everything over relationships, you backstab people, obviously what's gonna end up happening is you're gonna be that godfather in that scene where you're the last man standing, you might have all these material possessions, but you're gonna be miserable as hell and you're gonna wish what you did instead was maintain those relationships, cherish those people in your life that truly matter, that truly brought you happiness is the key here, happiness. Possessions aren't, money isn't. That's just something that I thought I would add. Yet another important lesson that I've learned is knowing thyself. This is something that you should be doing, a sort of reflection that you should be doing each and every night before you go to bed. But most importantly, each and every year, each and every month potentially. What did you do to progress? What were your strengths? What were your weaknesses? What skills did you need in order to learn? What skills did you learn? In general, just knowing what you stand for is absolutely essential. It's the idea of self-awareness, self-actualization. That's what leads to better decision-making. That's what overall leads to a better life, in my opinion. Another really important lesson that we begin to realize the more we age is the importance of health and well-being. This encompasses everything from exercise, cardio, nutrition, and just being sure that you're having adequate sleep on a day-to-day -day basis. Thankfully, this was something that I've realized from a very young age, so 14, 15, so I've been in the health industry for 12 years, been training for the last 10 years, so thankfully, this has been embedded you can say in my DNA. Even if it wasn't part of my work, I would still be at the gym, I would still be training. So why is this important? Because you realize that health and fitness will directly impact every single aspect of your life. By the age of 60, you want to be the one wiping your own bottom. You want to be as active as possible for yourself, for your kids, for your family. As you age, let's say in your 30s and 40s, this is something that really plays in your mind. Am I doing everything in my power to make sure that I'm as healthy as possible? The unfortunate truth to this is a lot of people realize this way too late in life. Now look, it's never too late to make changes. I'm not saying that's what I'm saying. When you're 30, 40, 50, and you're only just starting to make these healthy changes in your life, and you're only just starting to exercise, when a lot of the damage has been done already, let's say you were a smoking addict or alcohol addict or just you were significantly overweight, it's never too late to make changes. That is not what I'm saying here. What I'm saying is realizing this too late and either not taking the steps to make the changes or realizing this too late after you've done a significant amount of damage is unfortunate. That's all I'm trying to get to. So as you age, this is something that you will inevitably realize. Hopefully it's something you realize sooner rather than later. That's how I can essentially wrap it up. This lesson, I guarantee, will resonate with absolutely everyone. Hopefully, again, you realize this lesson sooner rather than later. As I've aged, I've truly understood the importance of where your money should be going towards, what things don't bring you any value, what things are gonna have an absolute liability on your life and not progress your finance, not progress you financially. For example, all the cheap fashion, all the hyped brands, all the labeled brands that are significantly overpriced that you really don't need, that isn't gonna add any bit of value to your life, that you literally and solely are buying it to show off or to show that you are of high net worth. Now, let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen, the majority of people buy things that they do not need. They do not need, they just want. They might get sucked into some marketing ad. Their friend might refer them to something that they thought was a good idea, but in the long run, it's really just a poor financial decision. Another example is debt. A lot of people get into significant debt over rubbish they don't really need, or they've made poor financial decisions up until this point in their life to get themselves into that debt. You gotta understand that every single decision you make in life has consequence. Every choice you make has consequence. Every choice you make without realizing, as you age, you begin to realize more and more, has consequence. You begin to see the consequences of your actions, especially the health and well-being aspect, if we were to go back on that topic. Instead, what you grow to realize is that you should be spending significantly less 
on material possessions, the crap that does not add any value in your life, and budgeting, investing that money instead into stocks, real estate, whatever the case may be, but just investing a large amount of your money and spending more on experiences, on memories, on travel, on education, on skills, things that are gonna be beneficial in your life that are gonna add value to you as an individual. Things that are going to provide you with lasting memories and personal growth, both in the short and long term. Time has also taught me that continuous learning is absolutely paramount. In a world that's continuously changing, especially in this day and age with artificial intelligence, upskilling and remaining competitive in the marketplace is a non-negotiable. It's something that you must do. AI is predicted to replace the majority of jobs, the majority of positions in the next two to five years, most of which, by the way, are degrees. So making sure that you are in the top echelon of whatever degree you are in, whatever job you are in. For example, in my position, my main job, my main source of income is coaching and personal training, making sure that I'm continuously competitive by providing more value for free, providing more services as an add-on that I wasn't adding on in the past is just a few examples of how I can remain competitive. You could also say that over time, I was able to learn how to turn my passions into a source of income. Over time, I was able to learn how to turn my passions and make them practical in my career, as well as my skills. While it's great to follow your passions, in my opinion, it's inevitable that over time you realize it's more essential to turn your passions into some sort of financial stability for you. Now, it might not always come down to finances. It might actually come down to some sort of value addition into your life that might be that this passion makes you more happy. Fair enough. As long as you are doing something and you're using your time most effectively. So yeah, today I turned 27, 27 years of age. If I was able to summarize this entire video into one or two sentences, this is most likely what it would be. What matters above all else is where you invest your time. How are you spending it? Is it going to be on things that pursue you forward, that progress you forward, and that fulfill you in life? Or is it going to be on things that don't add any value, on people that don't add any value, and things that don't provide you with any value? Of utmost importance is your friends, family, and relationships, the memories you create with them. Yes, material possessions will bring you very small levels of happiness but they are all temporary. What matters at the end of the day, at the end of your life, are the memories, experiences you've created, the lessons you've learned, what you taught yourself, the skills you've developed, because those are ultimately what is going to create a successful life for yourself in the long run, and two, continue your legacy for years to come, for generations to come, because then you're able to teach what you've learned to those people in your life that you love, that you cherish, as well as your kids. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed today's video, drop me a like, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to debate me down in the comment section below, feel free to. I'll see you beautiful people in the next video.